Smart Cleanup Tools 4.0 brings a new interface for the plugin and uh, you have now a uh, top level menu available for, uh, for this plugin. Uh, front page for the plugin shows you a quick uh, overview of all the tools and links to each available panel and uh, you also have a quick cleanup uh, option where you will see how many tools uh, are active for this cleanup, how many records will be removed and uh, uh, how much data will be deleted from the database and you can run quick cleanup from here. Uh, you can start from cleanup panel as usual this uh, hasn't changed uh, too much from previous versions and uh, you use it uh, the same way as it was before. So you have tools which are active uh, by default. Uh, tools which you can activate or deactivate, enable all, disable all and uh, tools that uh, are displayed in red and uh, for those tools no uh, cleanup is necessary because no data was found by these tools. Uh, to make navigation easier, if you click here on the plugin title you will get this uh, drop down where you can uh, move to any other plugin panel. Uh, the main difference with this version is that Reset Tools uh, has less tools than before, but some of the tools from this panel uh, have moved to a new panel called Removal Tools. Uh, this, uh, this panel deals with tools that are destructive. They will delete the data that is, that is potentially, potentially usable and uh, in use. Uh, so you need to be very careful with this panel uh, and make sure that you are deleting data you really don't need. And you need to understand uh, uh, how this tool will uh, affect your website. Tools are uh, separated into several uh, sections. So you can select comments and here you will see the list of available tools for removing comments data. Uh, all these three tools are previously found on um, a reset panel. So you select this tool here and click here. This will now uh, calculate how much uh, data would be removed if you decide to use this tool. Make sure you have backup before running any of these tools in case you change your mind later. All these uh, operations are not reversible. There is no way to return uh, if you don't save uh, the backup uh, before proceeding. Uh, for each tool you will be able to see which tables in the database are affected by, uh, by this tool. Uh, whenever you change the tool here, plugin will calculate how much records and data will be removed. You need to confirm each operation before plugin uh, actually does anything. Uh, so comments tool, uh, comments uh, removal tools uh, have three tools for removing pingbacks. Uh, for removing uh, user agent data and all Akismet uh, uh, data from the database. Next you have attachments. Uh, this can remove attachments that are missing uh, their parent posts. So they were uploaded to a post and this post maybe uh, is deleted at some point. So this attachment is now uh, still in the system but uh, not used directly by the post it was uploaded to so you can remove it if you don't need uh, such attachments anymore. You can remove attachments that are available in the database but they are missing files from uh, the disk. 
So uh, this attachments are practically useless because you only have a record entry in the database, but you don't have a file associated with this attachment. And uh, you can uh, remove such uh, such attachments from the database. Depending on how much uh, attachments you have, uh, it will take some time to calculate. You can also filter everything by the uh, type uh, of uh, of a file. So you have images, uh, zip files, text files, and so on. And you can uh, delete files that are unattached. Uh, when you remove attachments, it will always remove a file from a disk also. Next, you can remove terms. You need to select taxonomy uh, and you need to select scope. So you can delete terms that are created but not assigned to any of the posts or you can delete all available terms uh, for a taxonomy regardless of uh, the uh, use of this uh, term. So even if a term is in use, will be removed. So careful with this uh, uh, with this tool also. Next, you have uh, missing post types posts. In some cases, you can end up with uh, posts in the database, but uh, post type is no longer active, and uh, these tools. Uh, uh, these posts are available in the database but are not seen anywhere in the interface because post type is not registered. Uh, you can uh, change post type uh, by modifying database or you can remove those posts if you don't need them. Also be very careful, uh, there's no going back with any of this. So if you select a post type uh, name from here, uh, so this will only show you post types that are found in the database but are not registered currently uh, on your website. Uh, you can see here how many posts and you can see here how many records are for deletion. Similar goes for missing taxonomies uh, terms. This will list uh, taxonomies that are found in the database but uh, not registered on your website. So, if we select uh, something to delete, let's say topic tag, you have confirmation here for the taxonomy topic tag, uh, 1259 records will be removed. Click remove and OK. And there it goes. If you load this panel again and go to this here, there are no more taxonomy uh, uh, terms um, we removed previously are no longer listed in the list of taxonomies. As for the scheduler, it works as it was working before. You can edit existing jobs. You can change a period uh, when will be first run for the job and the name. And here in the list you see which tools are included for, uh, uh, for this job here. You can also delete jobs. Statistics uh, show statistics for uh, every tool here. Number of uh, executions, uh, number of records removed last uh, time this tool was run, and so on. And you can see text logs which contain uh, reports for each removal or Queries executed for removal and checkup, and you can also delete logs uh, from this panel. As for the plugin, plugin settings, you have uh, options to disable any of these tools. So you can disable some of the cleanup tools, some reset tools, or you can disable a removal uh, group uh, groups 
so disabling comments will disable all comments related uh, removal tools. Also, you can uh, set up some other things including uh, display of summary, inactive tools on cleanup panels and uh, enable or disable uh, individual log files. As before, you can export all plugin settings and schedule a job into a file and later import them back uh, from that same file. Do not change the file uh, created by the export because it is very likely that you will break something since the file, uh, file contains uh, serialized data. Uh, let's see how the cleanup works. Uh, we'll enable all tools. Some tools can show uh, details about uh, records found. So we are enabling all the tools. Estimated uh, deletion uh, will be for 40,000 records and almost 50 megabytes. Click run and uh, wait for some time to complete. This process can uh, uh, last longer depending on how many tools needs to be run and uh, how much data will be removed from the database. So there you go. You see the results from the cleanup here. Let's go back to intro page. As you can see now, a uh, quick cleanup shows only a few records remaining. Uh, whenever you, uh, even if you run a full cleanup, every time you go back to this page, you will see that uh, there are few records remaining because WordPress will automatically create some transient records that are usually removed. So you will always have. Uh, uh, something for removal. Let's see how this quick cleanup works here. So, the same way, and you get uh, results displayed here. Uh, before you start using this plugin on your website, there are a few things you need to know uh, about uh, the plugin uh, inner workings. Before anything you do, it is recommended that you create a backup for, for your database and uh, your files and uh, to make sure that uh, you understand each of the uh, tools you plan to use uh, from this plugin. Uh, you are using this plugin on your own responsibility and uh, it is your responsibility to create backups before proceeding. There are uh, three types of tools available and uh, you need to understand how a uh, plugin uh, works uh, to, to better use it uh, uh, for your website. Removal tools can uh, potentially uh, can remove potentially uh, useful data because uh, uh, this is mostly data found in the database uh, as uh, unassigned or uh, simply uh, something that you might uh, want to remove. Uh, so you, uh, you need to think about uh, uh, every of these tools and uh, what type of data will be removed using these tools and you make sure that you have a backup before proceeding. Uh, data you remove here is potentially useful and this especially goes for missing post types and missing taxonomies tools because uh, as you can see here we have a reply or topic uh, post types found in the database and they have thousands of posts in this uh, demo database but none of these post types is registered in this WordPress. So, this WordPress installation is not using these post types and it is not using these posts assigned to them. So, 
from current standpoint it is safe to delete them but it, if you need this data at one point later and you decide to re-register these post types uh, this data will again come into play so you need to decide if you need uh, these posts or not uh, so before you're removing anything uh, using these tools make sure you have a backup uh, saved uh, uh, for later on the other hand uh, reset tools uh, will uh, remove some data that uh, will be recreated uh, after removal uh, so removing sidebar widgets uh, record will reset all sidebars and uh, remove all widgets from all of them uh, you will need to set up all widgets uh, from scratch and this is useful if you uh, are experimenting with different teams also removing rewrite rules will force wordpress to recreate them so this is uh, something you you will need to do from time to time and it's uh, it's okay to use it uh, and we finally come to cleanup tools that are potentially safe to use because uh, they will deal with data uh, that is not uh, needed or the data that is not connected to anything in the WordPress or the data that uh, will be regenerated at one point. Uh, transient records for instance are uh, recreated by WordPress when needed and it is safe to remove them uh, if uh, if WordPress generates a lot of them and there are some cases when WordPress is not able to remove transit records on its own so they can take up a lot of space on the other hand if you don't need the uh, records marked as spam or uh, drafts or auto drafts you can also remove those uh, those records uh, you should be careful with uh, revisions because in some cases you want to you, you can uh, later uh, go through post revisions to see what you did uh, previously or, or something like that but uh, all in all tools on this panel are safe to use because the data here is not sensible uh, it's not sen sensitive uh, for WordPress functioning and uh, all these uh, things can take a lot of space in the database are and uh, they are basically useless so that's the difference removal and reset uh, will require you to create a backup to be safe and sure that uh, you will not lose uh, uh, some of your work and uh, cleanup tools is uh, mostly safe to use because it deals with uh, uh, data that is no longer in uh, in use in any case with all these tools be extra careful and make sure you use uh, you, know, you create uh, backups because you are using this plugin on your own responsibility and uh, uh, make sure sure that your data is safe uh, uh, safe uh, from uh, losing some important things and important work